Hey Scorps, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Elena. We're going to tap into some love messages for you guys today. Please hit that like button, Scorpio. Also, tap into your intuition, honor your higher self, so you can not only discern who this is for you today, but you can take the messages that resonate for you, all right? Let's jump in, spirit. Your first card is abundance. I love that card. It's so beautiful. It says, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Beautiful. You have happiness. Love and happiness. It's giving good vibes. It's giving good vibes. Let's get everything out here. Okay. And you have doubt. Let's tap in here. Feels like things are going good presently though. Like I literally cannot lie. All right, so let's see what's going on here and how we get to doubt. Let's tap in for your person. Who are we connecting to for Scorpio today? We have surrender. Oh, okay. Spirit saying you've taught this person a lot, okay, about how to surrender, about how to find joy in the moment or something like that, okay? We have adversity while underneath your card of happiness. So, yes, you have taught this person a lot. And it almost looks like... A lighthouse so you know you have illuminated a lot in this person's life okay okay and we have balance here for this person I don't know it feels like you might be in this person's life you know as a teacher aren't we all such is life <laughs> okay like really to show them something spirit is saying an instrument are you being used as an instrument for spirit Okay, the King of Pentacles. Oh, and the Six of Cups here. So you could be dealing with the Tars Virgo, Capricorn, Four of Pentacles, and the King of Swords here. I feel like this is somebody you could have history with, okay, that maybe you decided to rekindle something with before. About surrender, yes, Page of Pentacles here. Okay, the Empress. And the Six of Wands, I'm hearing how could I not? So I don't know how you guys met, but this person felt very captivated. Okay, so if there was some resistance between the two of you in the beginning of this, it was like this person had no choice. You know, this person absolutely knew that they could learn something from you. Now, if this is not a past thing, because I am literally in a trance looking at the Six of Cups, for some of you, this is an age difference. Okay, so you could be older than this person or vice versa. All right. Or there is a difference in experience or maturity levels. OK, like maybe you're super established in your career. You know, you started your business 10 years ago and it's flourishing. Maybe this person's just getting their foot in the door with their business. You know, it could be something like that. But with the page of Pentacles to your king of Pentacles, this person most definitely felt like they could learn something from you. OK, because you're showing up here as abundance. OK. All right, and this person is is uh, showing up as surrender, and it says, I can release my need to control. So there was also this feeling of safety that this person felt in your energy. Okay, and mm, you know what? That says a lot because I'm like, I'm getting so much about how they felt about you, you know? Scorpio, you can be a little tight-lipped about your feelings. The Empress, the Four of Wands... Ah, and the eight of swords. I feel like part, I'm going to be real because I feel like part of you may have been interested in this. Um, but I feel like you had some hangups. Eight of swords and the four of wands. Maybe about whether you could truly see yourself with this person or, you know, there were some thoughts there. There was some mental activity going on about building here with the four of wands. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Okay. Eight of wands in reverse. Knight of wands. Oh, the queen of swords. So I feel, okay. Yeah. So I feel like you are setting boundaries with this person. Um, with the eight of wands in reverse, I don't feel like things are moving forward. Okay. In a way, okay. Feeling like they are moving forward in a way where it's leading to something like marriage. Right. I feel like this could be, and especially with this clarifying the happiness card, I don't feel like you're upset. I don't feel like you're angry or perturbed. I feel like the ball's in your court, Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands, and I feel like you are setting boundaries, right? Like, you know what? We can have fun, whatever that means, right? 
we can have fun, but my focus is here on my business or we can have fun, but my goal is not this right now. Like, I don't know. It feels like there's some type of boundaries. And I don't know if you felt like you had to lay those down because of maybe you're picking up on how much this person was kind of like peering up at you. Okay. Yeah. King of wands in the eight of cups. Cause you know, yourself know thyself is what spirit is saying. Know thyself. You know what you like, know what you don't like, know what you can see yourself with long term, know what's just fun for you. I think that's important to know, right? So I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I think that's so important to know. So, you, so people come in with clarity, you know, because they be like that. Okay, let's see. The death card in reverse. Oh, this person does not want these changes, though. The Hierophant and the Four of Pentacles. Oh, man. Could be a Taurus, okay? Um, cause this is the death card is Scorpio. That's you. It's in reverse. This person does not want something to end. So this is the adversity coming in for this person. Yep. 10 of pentacles, nine of cups, the emperor, because she, see, this person can see it with you. Okay. Now this is going to get a little nuanced. So please follow me, Scorpio of all signs. I know that you will. <laughs> This person could be seeing it, but again, they are kind of showing up as the page of pentacles. It could be coming from a place of bright eyed, bushy tailed, you know, and it feels like Scorpio, you're coming from a place of, listen, I've been through this. Okay. I didn't been divorced. You know, some of you could have been divorced, right? Obviously that's not going to be for anyone, but it's just like, you're coming from a place of wisdom, having had certain life experiences that maybe this person hasn't trekked that path yet. Um, you know, and they have a, yeah, <laughs> they have a little bit more, I don't want to say naivety, like it's a bad thing, you know, but it's just like, we are some things we are more naive about until we have certain experiences and it kind of opens our eye, so to speak to the nuances of the world. And, you know, so, all right, let's see out here, King of Cups, the lovers and justice. Okay. Uh, some of this could be a Libra or a Gemini. So I do feel like coming up, okay, to clarify that doubt card, now we get more clarity on it. Will of Fortune, the Three of Cups, it feels like you are going to be thinking, you know. I don't think you're going to feel guilty or bad, but I think you might be thinking like, you know what, am I doing more harm than good by, you know, saying we need this boundary and still trying to keep this person in my life and knowing that it's hard for them, you know. Um, I think you might be thinking about that. Okay. Because like I said, it's like, it, and it feels like you're coming from a place of pure empathy. Like I've, I've had these experiences. I know how this person feels. I don't want to exacerbate that or, you know, uh, give them false hope, whatever it is, whatever it is. And I'm not saying you're doing any of that, but it feels like those are the thoughts and emotions that you could be trekking through. Um, this person, thank you. In the world in reverse, this person does not want it to end. And I think once you, I think when you start to realize like how adamant they are about it not ending and you know this person might even try to impress you or something like that I think for you instead of preying on that like some people might you remove yourself and you're like wait a minute no nah, like you need to be with you know or you know this is just not it <sighs> yeah ten of cups and the chariot here what is the overall guidance for a Scorpio thank you the queen of wands and the fool yeah yep and was it i literally just told virgo and libra how excited i am to see aries coming out and everyone's reading and like the guidance and stuff because that's where the north node is so it's just it's it's uh just shows like how much inner work everybody's doing like everybody going towards that north node and i love it for us i just had to put that in there okay the fool in the ace of cups yeah confidently go into the new beginning yeah without shame without guilt it feels like you're moving in honesty and that's how you will continue to move it does feel like that yep justice nine of swords there could be a little anxiety that comes in but honestly scorpio i feel like i feel like you're doing all the right things here you know, I feel like you're doing all the right things. Here. Okay, yeah. Last card is the last quarter moon in Aquarius. And it says reflect on your priorities. And it kind of feels like that. 
kind of feels like that. Didn't I say like, you, you know, that that boundary might come in because you're like, you know what? We can have our fun on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like I'm to the grind. Or, you know, there is some type of boundary being enacted here um, as it pertains to like what you see for yourself long term. All right. Um, so that is what I have for you, Scorpio. I appreciate you guys. I pray these messages find you well and that they're helpful in your uh, situations. Please hit the like button and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.